In this video, we're going to talk about inserting Palo Alto VMCG's firewalls within VMware NSXT environment. Level of integration that we have with NSX environment, there are multiple areas where you can insert Palo Alto networks uh, within the NSXT environment. In fact, there are four different areas or different use cases where you can uh, insert uh, you know, the, uh, the advanced protection that the VM series firewall protects within the NSX environment. The first one uh, is on uh, attaching the uh, attaching the VM series firewall to the T0 router. So that would be your typical north-south direction traffic. So that can take care of uh, inspecting and ensuring or protecting all your north-south traffic that goes in and out of your uh, out of your NSXT environment. In case you have multiple tenants or you have a segmented um, uh, segmented environment, you can always use the uh, second mode of deployment, which would be to deploy VM series firewall. Uh, again, we can do it in HA mode as well at each of the tier zero, tier one routers as well. So uh, you can attach it to tier zero or tier one routers to take care of the north-south traffic. Now let's talk about east-west traffic. Now in east-west traffic, there are two areas or two uh, uh, maze with which we can uh, uh, insert the service. Uh, the first one being a service cluster mode, where if you have a service cluster, then you can always deploy multiple VM series the firewalls and using the robust traffic steering mechanism that NSX provides, we can redirect traffic to these VM series firewalls. And of course, they sit behind a load balancer, so you can have multiple VMs and the traffic being load shared between them. The final mode, of course, is uh, somewhat similar to what we could do with NSXB, where you can deploy a VM series uh, on each of the individual hosts and again use the traffic redirection or traffic steering capabilities to have the traffic redirected as well. So how complicated is it to deploy Palo Alto solution with VM series and SXT environment? Let's take a look. So we have built a very deep integration with, Palo, uh, with VM series, uh, uh, with uh, VM, VMware and SXT environment. Now let's take a look at the first two deployment scenarios, like the north-south north -south, uh, protection, where you can either deploy on the tier zero router or deploy on the tier one router. And here I'm going to take you through three simple steps of how we deploy. The first one being from Palo Alto's central security manager, Panorama, we deploy the service. The second one would be to deploy the service onto the NSXT environment from your NSX manager. And finally, redirect the traffic so that the relevant traffic gets tiered to this service. As you can see here, we, call, we have a concept of plugins and we do have plugins for NSXB and NSXT allowing you to manage both NSXB and T and ROM. Now, one of the first steps that you would do is to create a service profile. Now, the service profile, you define a bunch of stuff, including the template, the base configuration that you want to push to the NSX, uh, to the VM series firewall as it's deployed. Of course, the image, the uh, OVF file that we need to deploy. And more importantly, you select the insertion type, whether it's north or south or east, west, when you define the service. Once you define the service, the next step, of course, is to create the binding between the plugin or panorama to NSX manager. You give the uh, URL to reach the NSX manager along with the credential that a panorama should use to connect to that device. And then you also see all the service definitions you have created and have the option to deploy them. In this environment, I have already deployed them. And once I log into my NSX manager, I do see that uh, I do see the catalog of all the services that I have defined. I can select the, the particular service instance I want to deploy and then click on deploy. Provide some of the information that is needed to deploy the virtual machine in that environment. And as you can see, there are deployment specifications that has already pushed from Panorama. So it has the information to come in with the right license and then connect back to the central management and whatnot. And most importantly, since it's a node south, you define where or which logical router to attach to, whether it's going to be a T0 router or to a T1 router. And that's pretty much it in terms of deploying the service or registering the service. All you need to provide now, of course, you have the ability uh, to either decide to have standalone VM series firewalls attached to these uh, routers, or you can have high availability. And if you have chosen the high availability, of course, provide the information that is needed uh, to bring up a uh, VM series firewall in a, in, a, in a HA environment. So that is the step two 
And once we have the step two deployed, the final step, of course, is uh, to deploy or to uh, create the traffic redirection rule. So once you have the service instance deployed, you create the tra traffic redirection rule. Again, uh, with the traffic uh, steering capability that NSX provides, you can create the rule to specify all traffic to go to the, uh, go to the VM series firewall or in a, a subset of traffic as you want, as you might want in your environment to flow to the VM series firewall. That's about north-south integration. Let's look at east-west integration now. And with NSXT, you have two ways to do east-west integration uh, in a standalone cluster mode or on a per host basis. And the workflow is pretty much the same. I'll call out the differences compared to north-south model. When you create your service definition, you, of course, choose east-west instead of north-south in the insertion type. And the notify group is also a very handy functionality that allows uh, panorama to pass on the information uh, the tag base and the security group information that it has pulled in from the NSXT environments and have these tag or the dynamic address groups be used on other physical firewalls, maybe an upstream firewall that is front-ending all traffic within your data center, giving you the ability to use the uh, data center cons or the NSXT specific constructs uh, in the form of dynamic address groups to define traffic even on physical firewalls in the traffic path. Another aspect I would like to call out is, of course, the health check here. The health check uh, enables uh, uh, gives us the ability to ensure that traffic redirections from NSX starts only after the VM series is completely booted up and ready to receive the traffic. Thereby, we can minimize any traffic loss associated. And again, uh, just like in the north-south deployment, once we have to register the service, uh, the next step, of course, is to deploy the service. And this is where you will de de uh, decide the deployment model, whether you are going to deploy it in a clustered model or you are going to deploy it on a host based model where every host will now have a VM series firewall associated with it. Another aspect to call out in the case of east west integration is the fact that it allows you to create service chains. Right? So if you want to have additional services deployed, in addition, you can do that uh, for that uh, for the for the service profile that you have created. Now, in this case, I have created uh, only one service that would be the uh, the firewall service. But of course, in, if the need be, you can uh, daisy chain or you can add more services for the same kind of traffic. And of course, the last and final step is to define the redirect rules that allows you to uh, you know redirect the relevant traffic to the VM series firewall. So again, it's, it's pretty straightforward, and the level of integration that we have is pretty deep, right? And what does that allow you? It allows you to deploy Palo Alto VM series firewalls in critical paths between your trust zones or segments with the right security nodes turned on so that you can have effective and best-in-class security for your critical data within your data center. 